Hey everybody, it's the Masked Comedian X Cast. Live on location. Big Ace from Nassau where, where, in the Bahamas. Pardon me? What's your location back My there? Location, my location, I'm, I'm in a dungeon because I am sad that I am not in the Bahamas. Enjoying life. I am in the Bahamas. No, I am in a dungeon in, in Minnesota. Just, just sad. So you having fun so far? We are. It's a good time. A uh, little cooler than I thought it'd be. Uh, also leaving Miami yesterday. And you guys love to excuse me. I'm at a restaurant in Nassau right now. And they're doing the yard work in the park across from us. So here's the back here's going. But uh, uh, the boat was super rocky yesterday. Oh. To the point that I was seriously questioning how matches were going to go. Because I had two drinks. And when I went to get a third, I thought I was blacked out because I was moving so much and walking. Wow. Like an idiot. But it was, the boat was just rocking. The water was rough. Uh, if you went and looked at the swimming pool, it was empty kind of by the end of the night because of how much rocking was going on. And it was like little wave pools. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. Uh, but they still did the show. It was good. Fozzie uh, started it off. Gabriel did the cheers, and then Fozzie played. Great show. Jericho was pumped. Uh, already announced part three of the cruise for February of 2021. Yeah. Uh, so last year, it was a couple weeks before we knew once the trip ended. But yeah, he did it right away. He already announced that they uh, have the third one being planned. So... We'll see if that happens. I've had some requests for the Mass Comedian X to be on the next cruise. You have? Yeah, well, a couple of people wanted to, wanted to see you make your way on the boat. Well, it just so happens that the Mass Comedian X might be able to go the next one. The Mass Comedian X so, had some nice stuff fall in his lap, and, it, and, and it, it's a possibility. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, I, I originally wasn't going to do it, but we might do it again. And, uh, yeah. We'll see. I know my nephew wants to come for part three, so we'll see what happens. But, yeah, it was good. And then they, uh, dude, wrestling, two shows, two wrestling shows last night. Man. Wow. Uh, yeah, we had, saw the likes of, uh, what was it, Joey Janela versus. Oh, no. Yeah, maybe. No, not Max. Ah, uh, he doesn't remember. It was, uh, Joe. You're, no, you're chopping up on me a little, buddy. Our, uh, Oops, sorry. There we go. Maybe if I get this fault. way. We're uh, using the Wi-Fi, so maybe a little. Young Buck, Kenny Omega. Yeah. Uh, that's you, LAX. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, we saw a lot. Uh, a three-way? I honestly... Wow. Uh, towards the end, it was... Uh, I don't really remember who was in what matches. Uh, good times were being had. Uh, we also saw Britt Baker and Allie. Uh, or, sorry, the bunny. The bunny. Um, but, yeah, we've also seen just a bunch of random people uh, around the boat, which has been really nice. Yeah. Uh, got reunited with my old friend Lisa uh, Marine Rome. Victoria. Oh, yeah. Uh, small world after her and I getting to know each other in Waterloo this last year. She just happened to be walking into the gate the same time we were. And, uh, yeah, and recognized me right away. Oh, wow. Uh, so her and I and her uh, boyfriend have been chatting it up. She's been snuffing by the sweetheart when I see her, giving me a big hug and asking how things are going. And, like, you know, just uh, really cool. My nephew already ran into Gabriel. Nice. And, bat, and, and, cool. and what? And Vicky Guerrero. And, oh, wow. Yeah, we saw Kenny Omega today walking with everybody go to the Atlantis Water Park. He said hi to me. Like, yeah, it's been stuff like that. We were watching the Young Bucks playing beanbag toss in the sports little area yesterday when we first got on. We ran into Jack Hager today. He was that in any mood to talk to anybody, though. <laughs> well, I don't think he's supposed to talk to anybody, is he? 
No, I tried to be like, hey, uh, I'm supposed to say hi from West Briscoe, but he no sold me and just kept walking. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, and then, uh, yeah, tonight will be the big AEW Dynamite taping, though. Um, it was interesting when we got on the boat, nothing was, they were setting everything up. Mm-hmm. So noon is when they boarded. 4.35 is when the pool deck actually opened because they were setting up the ring and staging. Sure. And when we went and looked at it, uh, a little earlier in the day when it first got on, there was a staging that was butted up to the ring, kind of like an entrance, and they were oh. measuring from there to the stage. So I have a feeling there is going to be extra production value going into tonight's taping. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, I think they're going to have some extra staging. I think they're going to use the main stage that they use to be the entrance. Like I said, last year they were coming out a door around the hot tubs of the pool that was actually the gym. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's no production value. If you watch those videos on YouTube, you would see that. So. Uh, well, I, I definitely, think- I definitely think that they're they're certainly going to be willing to spend more money than they did last year because uh, because all elites behind it and, and TNT's behind it. Yeah, uh, and that's been a big worry too. A lot of people thought this might lose its very intimate feel of the uh, cruise. Uh, it hasn't yet so far. Yeah. I don't know. Not yet. Yeah. We'll see what happens tonight with the taping, though. Very cool. Uh, things might be a little different. I know they're pretty hardcore about no videos, so I've been trying to do some stuff for a vlog. We'll s- I-, I got good video and stuff, but, like, again, not really supposed to be taping the matches. I've got a yeah. little bit. I try not to do a lot, but I feel like tonight they're going to really be watching it. Oh, yeah. Because uh, I know last year security was telling people not to. Um, this is crazy, by the way. We're just in some little side restaurant. In this show, show, anyway. show everybody around how, yeah. how nice it is. Yeah. It's full of full of people. Are those people on the? They're just on their own. Yeah, they're just on their own, walking around. Uh, if we go like that way, yeah, that brings us to a beach eventually. The port's back the other way. Uh, which, yeah, there's a Disney cruise right next to us in the dock, which is massive. The Royal Caribbean right next to us, which is massive. Yeah. And uh, Atlantis is, like, right behind us, too, where we're docked right now. So a good shot of that place. Uh, a lot of a lot of people are going over there. And that thing's expensive, though, man. It's like it's, is it, for a day. Is, is, now, what's Atlantis? The water park? Yeah, that big giant resort with the water yeah. park and casino. And all that. Now, they also have a casino there? You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, at Atlantis they do. There's yeah, another cause... place on this island, though, that apparently has the biggest casino uh, around. I don't remember what place it is. Yeah, I think I've been to it. Oh, okay. Way back in 19... I'm going to drop my voice. Nice. What was that? Uh, oh, you know, there's people talking. Uh, they definitely like to try to get you into the restaurant or shops yeah. as you walk back. Uh it's all about that. I just say no or no. A lot of people walking over here. <laughs> uh, but it's kind of the way it is out here. Oh, yeah. Well. Yeah. We're getting the food right now. Are those, now are those, do you know are those people on the cruise? Or are they on, on, on something separate? I, I have no idea. But well, ask have, them. Ask, tell them, that. ooh, nachos. That's what I care about. But yeah, it's been, uh, it's been good so far. Oh, man. Uh, I got a little drunk last night, mass comedian, which you know me, that doesn't happen very it often. It does not happen very often. It doesn't happen very often. So we were having some fun. Uh, again, uh, our good friends Erica and Jason are around. I don't know where they are right now, but they're they hoping to be with us today, but we're in a different location than originally planned. Yeah. Uh, my buddy Bender and John that I became friends with last year, they're around as well. Those guys were actually at the same hotel. So we actually had friends in the hotel before we even got to the boat. Oh, so wow. Kind of nice. Yeah, so that was a good time. But, uh, yeah, we've got the big AEW show tonight. I think there's two, probably two more wrestling shows tomorrow. Yeah. That was Wednesday, then maybe like one or two more Thursday. Uh, Fozzie's going to play another set, I think, tonight and then the last night. Uh, I think he's got a Guerrero podcast tonight. He did the NWO podcast last night with Bischoff and Scott Hall. Didn't go to it. Yeah. Oh, and they had Booker T. 
and oh. MVP to people who weren't in the MWL. And it's, uh, yeah. Uh, like, they were all part of the... And the uh, yeah, I, I get it. They were all part of that era. Uh, <laughs> but again, well, and they had to make up because they lost out on Nash and X-Pac, uh, both pulled out of the boat. Uh, and Brandy Rhodes, did you hear about this? No. Brandy Rhodes was the last one in camp. Uh, her passport was stolen. Are you kidding? Yeah. Yeah. So, and I guess she wasn't going to be on there. Like, I think she was going to leave to Bay. She has some keynote she has to give at a, at a TV convention. Yeah. But yeah, she didn't even come on because uh, they, they stole her passport. Ooh. So she didn't make it. Um, we haven't seen Flair yet. I, her rumors is that he's getting on today and then off today. I don't know about that. I... I heard he was getting on today and off today. I've also heard he was just getting on today. Yeah. Um, big rumor is that he uh, delayed it because he went to Rocky Johnson's funeral. Oh, sure. Or is going, and that might be why he's leaving early. I don't remember. There's yeah. a couple different things going around about that. Um, but yeah, and then uh, I'm really interested to see. I really feel like they're flying in the rest of the main roster to the mask off for the show tonight, and then they'll probably all just stay here and fly home for the people that are advertised to be on the boat the whole time. So yeah. uh, I'm uh, excited to see that. I'm well, going to need to see some orange gas. Oh, yeah. Very, very cold. Now you you got to get a picture of him. I know, right? If you can't, I mean, he's your guy. He's your, he's your guy. He, he's the guy that won you the T-shirt. To be fair, he won you the T-shirt, which I haven't ordered yet, but I will. <laughs> and no worries. And and uh, no, we'll, we'll we'll have an argument about it. Uh, but no, I'll 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 get it ordered. Uh, and um, just as a real quick aside, that you uh, you probably don't know this, and they, I don't think because you were having fun uh, last night on Raw. The biggest uh, news was that the Viking Raiders lost the tag team championship. To Seth Rollins and Buddy Murphy. Oh my God, are you serious? I am serious. They are really. They are Rollins and Buddy Murphy are the tag champs now. Yep, they are really running with this Monday Night Messiah uh, business. Why wouldn't my confusion is why wouldn't AOP get it if someone in that faction is going to get it? They're the tag team. I don't know. Wow. What? So, what else did I miss on Monday Night Raw? Uh, let's see. Uh, McIntyre and uh, Orton had a good match with uh, McIntyre, stating, "I will headline WrestleMania." So maybe they're going to give him a push, which I think is is really deserved. Yeah. Uh, uh, Becky and Asuka uh, in that saga. Um, Becky uh, had a match with Kyrie Sane, uh, which she won. Uh, it was funny because Asuka was sitting up on the ring post the entire match until Becky finally came over and knocked her off. And then when Becky beat Kyrie, Asuka came in and beat the crap out of her, which made me feel good. Uh, and uh, so, um, you know, it's it's a. Uh, I like it. It's it it's more interesting. It was a better Becky to me than than uh, has been. Uh, the uh, I got a feeling that the Lashley uh, Rusev stuff is going to continue. The mixed tag match uh, was was good. I'll tell you what, Liv Morgan. Uh, is really a fantastic wrestler who never uh, got her due when she was with the Riot Squad. Nope. Uh, holy cow. She is fast and uh, made Lana look like a stiff. Uh, that, ain't, that ain't hard. It isn't. It isn't. But uh, in that match, uh, Lana pulled some business with Rusev and, and uh, actually... Liv Morgan was uh, not only kicking the snot out of uh, Lana, but she also gave Lashley a couple of kicks, nice. uh, which was awesome. Um, 
And uh, then Lana tried to kick Rusev. I, 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 I think she tried to kick him. Uh, and there was a little bit of added extra help uh, in that. So he was kicked out of the ring or, or came, I don't remember what it was, distracted. And then Lashley uh, speared him. What else was uh, was in there? Um, uh, KO and Joe are are still uh, messed up with Rollins as well. Uh, so that's a big, big to do. I don't know what else I missed. Uh, are they, oh, so are they going to get a shot at these titles? You think? Uh, no, because I think what's going to happen is they're going to they they their big announcement was after all of this folder all, uh, which is a fancy word for stuff. Um, their big announcement was that they were going to be in the Royal Rumble. Uh, so I don't think if they do get go after those belts, I don't think they will until after the Rumble. So okay. uh, what else? Alistair Black kicked somebody's head off in about two seconds. Uh, got in the ring, kicked it off. They made a big deal out of, oh my gosh, this is a record for a win. And uh, uh, other than that, I think that was about it. I mean, I'm sure there so were was a couple, it, couple other matches I missed. It was a, it was it was good. It was entertaining. Was it any, a decent go home show though? Um, I don't know. I mean, you know, the biggest the biggest thing is oh, when people are announcing for the uh, rest of it. Oh, Brock did come out again, and uh, and uh, uh, Ricochet came out to answer him, and he cracked. Ricochet in a real quick hurry. Uh, Why? Why? Because he has to kick somebody. I know, but you know, it's just whatever. I, I mean, I guess it doesn't need to be a big lead and no go home for it. No, because it's, it's the rumble. And it's the rumble too. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. like it's. Okay, or... Yeah, perfect. Uh, yeah, no. Hey, hey, get, gonna your, be... get your server on the get your server on the show. Tell her. Busy. No, they're uh, not that busy. It's breakfast time. They're not that busy. Oh, it's way past breakfast time, bro. Uh, yeah, okay. No, I, it, it doesn't have to have a lead in because uh, we're going to start seeing everything take shape once the rumble's done. So. Yeah, that's right. I'm just excited to get it going and be done with it. Have they uh, Have they said any of the NXTers that are going to be in uh, the rumble yet? Have any of them like they, may have, they may have on NXT. Uh, but uh, at this point, uh, they didn't say anything on on Raw, so uh, I I will have to make a point of watching NXT this week to see who all has That's been nice. declared for uh, the Rumble uh, from NXT because I know there's going to be some. I think probably uh, one of the guys that will be is Walter. Um, uh, and, but other than that, I'm not sure. I feel like Cole will be. Cole, probably Cole and Champa, uh, Gargano. I would guess. Uh, and uh, oh gosh, who's who's the who's the Velveteen? Guy? Uh, no, I don't think I don't think Velveteen will be. Um, Keith Keith Lee. Oh, Keith Lee, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah he definitely will be in it. Is Velveteen hurt? I don't know. I haven't really heard a whole lot about about him, or he really, really has kind of been. I mean, not as prominent as he was, uh, but I think I think what's going to happen is uh, with this Royal Rumble, uh, with with Lesnar going in first. My prediction is that there are going to be a lot of guys that he's able to put over uh, just by being in the ring with him. He's going to clear the first 10 easy. Oh, I think he is. It's, it's going to be a lot of him just standing there waiting. I think I think that's true, depending on who it is. But I think I think he has the ability, if they do it right, to elevate everybody that's in there with him. You know, um, if they can if they can stay stay with him for up to two minutes and then get out, uh, I, think they'll, I think it'll be very interesting. But, yeah, but. I mean, I'm guessing, though, like, the first... I mean, maybe he'll have, like, one or two guys in the beginning that, like, put up a fight and he'll get them out. But I definitely think we're going to see a string of, of entrants where it's just him alone, 
They come in, he throws them. They come in, he throws them. They come yep. in, he throws them. I mean, what else can you do to make him look tough? They've done everything else to make him look tough. You know, yeah. no one can beat him. He broke the streak. He's, he's been the champion that's ever there. He's done all this stuff. What else can you possibly do? Make him have probably one of the best showings in Royal Rumble history. That's how you make him look even tougher, and they're going to do it. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, other than that, I will be very excited to watch, uh, to see if I can see you on the AEW show uh, tomorrow uh, because I, I expect you're going to be right up there against the ring. I will not be right up against the ring, that's for sure. I uh, I don't do, I don't deal with that. Like, I don't try to get up there and wait yeah. for three hours. Like, I'm definitely in vacation mode. <laughs> So like I'm definitely just kind of nonchalant. We'll come out like there's a little, there's a few of us that will try to hold some spots down so we at least have a view. But by no means are we uh, are we trying to get into the like front row ring just because yeah. I don't want to stand there for two hours on the boat waiting for that. So I like to be able to walk around and do whatever stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you'll see us or not. We might be on the upper part looking down oh. on the ring. So I don't That'd know. That'd be, be a good vantage point. Yeah, it's I, again. I'm excited to see because there's some lighting that's set up on the pool deck that hasn't been used yet. So obviously it's for tip. Yeah, uh, and again, I'm ex I'm interested to see what kind of extra production gets brought onto the boat from here in Nassau to make this work. Well, that sounds awesome. Uh, well, this is a short, abbreviated version. As you said, you're on vacation. This is true. Uh, this is true. I'll walk to the block. So you Get a better oh yeah give us a give us a little uh a little look around the old uh nasa i'll walk down here just a little bit so you guys can see at least some water or just a block down from senior frog you're losing the wi-fi <laughs> well there he is you lost the wi-fi there buddy i don't know if you can hear me or not uh go back to the wi-fi yeah. Well, this uh, this makes for a great uh, show to see uh, uh, Ace's top two incisors there, and uh, yeah, can't see it. Yeah, can't see nothing. You you lost the Wi-Fi. Yeah, I there don't you are. The You're back, back right? Yeah. I don't know if you can see like this. Oh, that is pretty. I'll tell you what. That is a nice. Uh, and all those people are there for the Jericho Cruise. That's, boy, I'll tell you what, Nassau has never been full of more wrestling fans than it is right now. Uh, because I'm not sure, but I don't know of any uh, famous uh, Bahamian professional wrestlers. Uh, I don't know of any. And so this is a big deal for all the Bahamians, I'm sure. <laughs> they don't care. They're just like, they're whatever. Like, they're like, hey, hey, more more tourists with money. Uh, yeah, that's exactly it. Like I said, there's about there's a Royal Caribbean, there's the Disney Cruise, and then there's another or Carnival, and then another. There's about five, five or six boats here right yeah. now. So it's a, it's a hopping place. It's uh, it, it's uh, it's it's NASA is always full of tourists uh you should actually while you're there try a bahama mama ask in fact ask your <laughs> server to to give you a bahama mama which is a delicious drink that tastes like fruit punch and it's it's subtle and all of a sudden it hits you like a hammer because nice. there's a buttload of rum in it and uh it's like rum and fruit punch but it's so good I had a little rum last night. I had to switch it up. It wasn't going down well. Yeah, there you go. There you go. I had, I had to get to the vodka. Well, uh, take as many clandestine pictures as you can. Uh, get as many little additions to your vlog as you can. Uh, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to play that when you come back uh, next week. And... Uh, Boy, I'll tell you what, I don't want to run up your Wi-Fi bill or your cell bill if you got one. Uh, actually, it's your cousin, so go ahead. 
Yeah, well, and the other thing is, when we walked away, I lost you and I lost the Wi-Fi, so I don't yeah. think this cell signal's doing anything. He's yeah, probably so that's good right now. That's good so, Yeah, but, yeah, definitely. We'll be back on Tuesday. We'll talk about the Rumble. And Rumble, and then we'll recap my trip. And, uh, yeah, I'll probably have some pictures and photos that I can probably get to you ahead of time, and we can pop them awesome. up and show it. Awesome. Well, yeah. continue to have fun on that Gerald Crow Cruise Big Ace. Hell, yeah. And nachos right here. Oh, Joe, show, show the eat, eat a eat a nacho. There, get eat one so people can tell you that you're really having fun. Oh, look at that! He is having so much fun. I wish you had. That's Coke. It's but like it's different it's from Bahama. Is it really? Like it is. It's different. It's different. It's uh, what, what's the difference? What do you, can you describe it? It has just a little bit of a. Spicier aftertaste, yeah, than a normal cup. Interesting, mm -hmm. yeah, it's different. Very it's interesting, all right. it's all right. Yeah, well, I, I'm, su I'm surprised being on vacation that you don't have some kind of a uh, alcoholic beverage in front of you. You know, I'm a dozen adult now, almost 40, so you know, yeah. I'll do that, but I'll do that later. You can, you know, that's the thing as an adult, you can pace yourself through the day when you're on vacation. Yeah, I plus I wanted to like you know not go from waking up being like uh, to like right back to drunk. So. <laughs> well, but if you if you but if you keep an even keel, you can keep that kind of uh, I'm drunk the whole time. Yeah, that's the way to do it. I don't want to be drunk the whole time. Well, I've I definitely mean, been enjoying the uh, the eating aspect of this trip yeah. so far. So Lots did you? Food. So so did you? Do do they have a buffet on the boat? Yeah, yeah, buffet. We have an Irish pub, the dining room. There's an Asian place. Uh, yeah, so good stuff. We did the dining room, the actual dining room for lunch, because it was the only place that was like dead, and it was yeah. good. And yeah. then yeah, we did the buffet last night. Uh, yeah, I don't know what we'll do. We're eating these nachos, and then I don't know what will be dinner tonight. But yeah, definitely enjoying the food. Awesome. Well, if I if I do go if I do go next year. Uh, it, there's an entirely uh, a possibility that I could eat myself to death on the cruise. Don't uh, don't die in our cabin, though. Well, no, that's that. you, you don't want to die anywhere in the Bahamas. I don't want to deal with that. No, sir. Let's All right, up. buddy. Well, it was great to talk to you live on location from Nassau, the Bahamas. Give the give the restaurant you're at a plug. Maybe it'll take ten percent off for you. Yeah, right. What is it? X Kagan. X. I'm Ex so bad with this camera. Where is it? Yeah, there you go. There's a guy walking. Ex yeah. Exagon Ex is what it's called. Exagon. Oh. Yep, just a little tuck away from this nice patio. Yep. So that's, uh, yeah. Well, awesome, yeah. buddy. Check it out if you're here. It's right by Senior Brock. All right, man. Have a great rest of the cruise, and we'll see you next week on Tuesday. Sounds good, buddy. All right, man. All right, man. God, dude, that was okay. Yeah, I'm glad it worked. We just had a couple of little dropouts, but <coughs> excuse me, nothing that's. I don't know. I mean, people realize that you're in the Bahamas. I don't think anybody's going to give a crap. Right. But I think it's very cool. So what I what I, I'm what I'm going to list it as is live from the Jericho Cruise 2020. All right. Up. And and then I'm going to. I'll get it all set up, and what I'll do is at 8 o'clock, I'll, I'll set it to do that premiere business so that uh, uh, at 8 o'clock it'll be on Facebook and on uh, YouTube, but uh, I don't think I'll put it on Twitter or uh, I might upload it to Twitch. We get a lot of views on Twitch. I don't know how long they're watching, but we get a lot of people looking at it. So... Um, but yeah, I had uh, last week, I had this fall into my lap. Um, I gave my two weeks notice at Visiting Angels uh, yesterday. And yeah. and so uh, I had a friend of mine who's also a comedian say, hey, I, I didn't realize she had this job, but she says, uh, I think you'd be perfect for, a, for kind of a temp job we have that runs from February until 
September or possibly next February um, training, uh, doing some training for Dunkin' Donuts. And uh, we leave, it, it's, it's most of it's out of town work. Uh, so we leave, the typical schedule would be leave Minneapolis on Monday night, be back on Thursday and um, everything's paid for. And she said it was 50 grand a year. Man. And she was trying to sell me on it. And I'm like, you could stop now. <laughs> She's like, what do you like about working at the airport? I mean, don't even, I don't care. It doesn't make any difference. But the cool part is I can still work at the airport because that's easy ass money. So by the time, by the time next year think? rolls around, I should be rich as shit. Well, I don't know about rich as shit, but I'll at least have some money built up and I maybe, maybe won't have any more debt. So, uh, but that's, but that's good news. So apparently they've got some, they've got some kind of a problem with consistency on their coffee because some stores put too much water in, some put too little and, and the coffee mix is crazy or something. So they've apparently got a computerized uh, coffee machine that will not run unless they put the proper amount of water in and it can sense it. So uh, the company does a big presentation, I guess, and then we break off into small groups um, and uh, go through how to work it and, and, and see if there are any questions. So it sounds nice. like it's easy as balls. Um, and she's like, well, yeah, after after we do the training, you guys can do, she's asked a bunch of other comedians too. She's like, after you guys get done, you want to go out and do open mics or whatever, you can. I'm like, I don't know about open mics. I might want to see if there's, if I can get myself booked in some of those places. You know, um, but if not, I'll go back and work at the airport on the weekend because I can't pass up that sweet, easy money. Right. But uh, yeah, so hopefully that'll turn into something. But if nothing else, my last day working with old guys is on uh, is on Friday. So, That's awesome. Yeah, I could, honestly couldn't couldn't be happier. I don't even care if I don't get another job. I don't even care if the other falls through. Because at this point, I'm not going back. <laughs> right. Right. Well, that's awesome, man. That's yeah. Real. Thanks. Oh, so, yeah. All right, man. Well, well, I'll hit you up when uh, we get back on Friday. Awesome. Or, yeah, we'll be back in the States on Friday. Cool. It's off the message. All right, buddy. Have fun. Uh, Tell your nephew thanks for letting us use his phone. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know why it wouldn't work on mine. Yeah, so you weird. probably just got something that you're not allowing it to do something. I don't know. So, anyway. All right, buddy. Have a good right, one. I'll, I'll see you later. later.